subscribe to Bloody Monday, and watch chilling horror stories almost every week. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The True Story of Conjuring What Really Happened, Part 1 This happened in 1971. It was very cold that year. So Roger and Carol and Perrin moved to their farmhouse in Rhode Island in America along with their five daughters. But they didn't know that this was going to be the biggest mistake of their lives. That farmhouse was built in 1736 and it stretched over 200 acres of land. Roger had acquired that place on a lease for 10 years but the moment they moved in, they got a strange feeling about the place. Their daughter's toys moved from one place to another on their own. Many times, the photos hanging on the wall would fall off. Sometimes late at night, Carolyn would hear someone scream in pain. One day, when their youngest daughter was playing on her own, Carolyn saw a dark shadow smiling at her from behind the staircase. Her neck was tilted as if someone had twisted it. That shadow kept staring at her and had a big smirk on her face. But the shadow didn't do any harm as all it did was look quietly at her daughter. She had now become a frequent occurrence in the house. One night, Carolyn told Roger everything she was witnessing in the house. Even Roger agreed that he had noticed weird things happen in the house too. Carolyn was very worried about the kids. They decided to send the kids away for a while, but just then the bed started shaking vigorously. The bed then floated up in the air and slammed on the ground with a huge thud. They were very frightened. They had never witnessed such a negative energy in the house. Out of fear, neither of them could sleep that night. After that night, it seemed as if something got into Carolyn. Her condition deteriorated, and it kept getting worse. She felt as if someone was piercing her body with needles all the time. Every night, the voice of the spirit echoed in her ears that woke her from her sleep. She demanded her children and asked her to leave the house. Sometimes the spirit would drag her out of bed and take her to the basement and hurt her. One night, Carolyn felt someone had grabbed her by the throat. When she opened her eyes, she saw a horrendous woman sitting on top of her who was trying to choke her to death. Carolyn tried very hard to get rid of her, but the spirit had possessed her body. Who was the spirit? Why was she doing all that to Carolyn? To know what happened next, subscribe to Bloody Monday and stay tuned to watch part two of the story 